so the so the top gun thing it, it's it's very crazy but um how that even came about is i posted a video starting my motorcycle my h2 in my living room i'm starting the h2 stop it instagram wants to see and hear the h2 mind you my h2 was just a 2015 h2 they didn't have a carbon at that time i started the motorcycle in my living room my wife was mad about it. Came running over and she was fighting me trying to yeah, shut it off. Yeah. The bike had an H2R exhaust system on it, so it's extremely loud and it's in the house and it's an echo chamber and she's freaking out and I'm trying to hold her off. This is an Instagram video as well. So I'm trying to hold her off so I can let the bike run and rev it a couple times to, you know, make a cool video. And she fights me, gets around me, shuts the bike off. And the video goes viral. Prior to that, uh, the production for the movie had approached Kawasaki about, uh, about using an H2 in the new movie. And the, no, I'm not gonna disclose the numbers, but what the production was asking from Kawasaki, Kawasaki said, no, nah, that's not, it, it doesn't make sense for marketing and, and whatnot, so we're gonna have to pass. So fast forward a few months, the video comes out and uh, the star of the movie saw the video and said, I have to have that motorcycle. Not, not one that is a replica of it, I want that motorcycle. So he wanted my personal bike. The production reaches out to Kawasaki, says, hey, we see one of your athletes has this motorcycle and our guy wants to use it for the movie. Can you make any calls? Can you do any, pull any strings? Kawasaki says, sure, we'll call him. That's our stunt rider. We'll, we'll get a hold of him and see what he says. They approached me, they asked me about it, and I said, absolutely, why not? Okay, they're gonna need the bike for six months to a year. No problem. So, fast forward, that was May of 2018. Um, I got the bike back March, 2023. A number of changes to the bike. Um, from its stock form, well, from its form when they picked it up. Uh, the bike had H2R winglets, upper and lower, H2R exhaust. It had the full, the works pulleys, um, tune, ECU tune, uh, the, intake, uh, the, the air filter, everything made like 250 horsepower on the dyno. Just a monster of a bike. And the production got it. Uh, a year goes by, two years go by. I see the bike at a dealer meeting for Kawasaki. They got the bike back from production and they took it to the dealer meeting. And this is when the movie was initially supposed to come out. Well, COVID happened and the dealer meeting still went on, but COVID happened. They stopped the release of the movie at that time. And, uh, but I did get to see my motorcycle and I'm like, this doesn't look like my bike. The frame is gray, it's not green. It has carbon upper fairing, what, what is going on? So it turns out that they ended up with three bikes. Kawasaki loaned them two, and then they used my bike as the hero bike. So they used one for one shot. They made a, a back seat for the second, for the passenger shot that they did in the movie. And then they used one bike specifically for hero, for just for photos. And then they use my bike for all the riding scenes. So they made all these changes to my bike, like I said, and ended up completely altering the bike. And that's how it is now. But in the meanwhile, when that was all happening and the time just kept dragging out longer and longer and longer, Kawasaki ended up nice enough giving me a 2020 H2 Carbon to replace that bike along with getting my bike back, you know, in March of 2023. Now I have two H2s. I have the movie bike, which I'll never ride again. It'll just sit in my living room. And then I have my H2 Carbon that I can actually go out and ride and enjoy. Yeah, so that, that's the story of the H2. Um, I still love the motorcycle to death. And like I said, it's just gonna sit in my living room and, and be a great memory. That's the original, I call the bike Echo. So now I have Echo 2.0 which is my new carbon. And that's a bike that I'll ride and enjoy. And when I wanna go 
super fast. Any chance of seeing another video of the H2 fire up in the living room or is that done? Uh, you know, I think those might be the days of old at this point because uh, it really does gas the house out for like 12 hours. <laughs> so maybe with proper ventilation, I'll get a couple fans on and, and uh, open some windows, try and direct the, the exhaust fumes out of the house and I'll uh, maybe risk, risk running, running the bike inside the house for everyone on Instagram to see. Thanks a lot, Jason. All right, let the good times roll. We'll see you guys next time.